honestly, this place feels alien. We're about to explore the deepest construction site in Canada, 270 feet below the surface of the earth. It is a very early Wednesday morning, and honestly, normally around this time, I'm rolling out of bed about to have my morning coffee, but the REM invited me to check out the site of the deepest subway station in Canada, and one of the deepest in the world. That's worth it. The new station is going to be connecting to Montreal's pre-existing STM metro system at Édouard Montpetit, right next to l'Université de Montréal. This site is serious, so I'm getting geared up. Welcome to our station. Uh, we have a lot of hazard, uh, around 50 workers uh, on the project today, so you need to have all your PPEs and be aware of your, of your footing, all right? Uh, be aware about where we're walking. When the, first, the site started at the beginning, there was no stairs or elevators to go down. So we used to use the uh, ladders or the crane directly in a kind of a basket. It was something like two or three people at the time. This dig began in 2018, reaching a depth of 270 feet. That's the height of a 25-story building. To dig this, it's limestone. It's pretty hard, hard rock, okay? It's not soft. You cannot dig it. You need to use microblasting. That's the only way to go through that rock. Small amount of uh, dynamite and charge, explosive charges, and we control them by electronic detonators. Reduce at the maximum the vibration that we uh, send to the, uh, the, 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 the rock bed and do not affect the uh, surrounding infrastructure. Now the question is, how do we get down there? When it's finished, there will be five high-speed elevators clearing over 200 feet in under 30 seconds. Those aren't built yet, so today we're descending in a temporary service elevator. Claustrophobia aside, it feels like stepping into a spaceship, strapping in for the grand voyage, taking us deeper and deeper below the streets of Montreal. When the gates finally open, it's like stepping into an alien world. The familiarity of the construction site above is replaced with a massive cavern. 30,000 cubic meters of excavated rock and limestone have been removed from the space that we're walking through right now. The tunnels left behind have been smoothed and shaped into something new, making way for ventilation shafts, water pipes, and eventually electrical wiring. And that limestone they had to blast through? There it is. A section they'll be leaving on display as a reminder to REM passengers of just how deep this station is. Time to go even deeper. At 270 feet below the surface, it starts getting pretty cold. I begin to wonder why this tunnel needs to be this deep and with no easy way in or out, just how safe it is. Uh, because we have to reach that infrastructure that was built 100 years old ago. And that's the main access for downtown. With the REM project, we propose at the end about 500 trains per day. We've got McGill Station about 3 kilometers from here, connected also to the Montreal Tunnel. And you have uh, here at Romo Petit Station. The tunnel will be divided in two by a central wall, okay? If smoke or a problem uh, occurs in one tunnel, people will be invited to go to the other one, to a safe zone. So no worries for that, it will be safe. Being down here, this far below the surface of the earth, honestly, this place feels alien. And it's hard to put into video the scale of how massive these tunnels are. And if you look at the rock, I mean, you see how smooth it is? It almost looks fake. Incredible. As we head back up, there is just one more question I need an answer to. Maybe the most important question of all, is there Wi-Fi? The Wi-Fi will be on every station of the REM. So no problem, you can uh, use your cell phones or whatever it is uh, without any uh, problem. Knowing just how massive this dig site has been, it's wild to think that so much foot traffic goes on just a few feet away without much disruption to the yeah. daily stream of students and STM Metro riders. Reach the station, 20, 20 seconds trip down with the elevators, then reach the platform and three minutes later on you're in downtown. Open to the public for the, uh, the end of fall 2023. For Narcity, I'm Alex Melky.